Mr. Chris Myler, an elderly carpenter who was ready to retire. He told his employer, of his plans to leave, the house building business, to live a more leisurely life, with his wife and enjoy his extended family. Now, he would miss, the paycheck each week. But, he wanted to retire. The employer was sorry to see his good worker go, and asked, if he could build just one more house, as a personal favor. The carpenter agreed, and started working on the last project, of his life. Since, it was his last project, he worked half-heartedly. He said goodbye, to overtime. He did not consider, to find the best cement mixture. He did not consider, having a swimming pool in this project. He did not use quality wood for doors. The furniture was not of good quality. The employer called the carpenter in his office. And gave the keys of this newly built house, to the carpenter, saying. This is my gift to you. For your such a commendable service over 15 years. The carpenter was shocked. What a shame. If he had only known he was building his own house he would have done it all so differently. So it is with us. We build our lives, a day at a time, often putting less than our best, into the building. Then, with a shock, we realize we have to live in the house we have built. If we could do it over, we would do it much differently. But you cannot go back. You are the carpenter, and every day you hammer a nail, place a board, or erect a wall. Someone once said, life is a do-it-yourself project. Your attitude and the choices you make today, help build the house you live in tomorrow. Therefore, you should build wisely.